Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and today I'll be reviewing Change by Lloyd Barnes, released by Illusionist. And let's cover this up in the back because it has a link to the tutorial. So this is basically what you get in the package with uh, five gimmicks. So I'm going to read you the back and see what it says. Change Volume 1. I don't think there's going to be a Volume 2. I'm going to get into that in a second. It's five visual miracles that will change your life. Now remember, this is what they're saying. Lloyd Barnes has harnessed a principle so advanced it allows you to perform what people will swear is real magic. A no slights, no cover concept that will destroy the limitations of what's possible in magic. Pick up change today and change your magic forever. So that's the hype around it and for $30 you can buy into that claim. Which is what I did. Now, I have to say that there's no way I'm going to use this on stage. No way at all. It's... I can't really show off the gimmicks here. Um, well, I guess I can show off some of the backs. Looks like this. Now, the camera I'm using can't pick up the color discrepancy, but here's a regular red rider back compared to the gimmick so this right here is the gimmick and this is a regular red rider back the hue of red is a lot stronger in a regular red rider back compared to the gimmicks that they give you it's almost like this orange hue now on the gimmick side it's um it's the hue of red that we need for a red rider back but the other side is just this kind of orangish color but on camera you can't see that. And that brings me to my next point is these entire effects can really only be done for the camera. Um, so if you're into Instagram magic or YouTube magic and not performing this live, then this is the trick for you. It will change your magic. But in real life applications, there is no way that this is going to be a principle so advanced it allows you to perform what people will swear is real magic. I'm sorry, it's just not that. It, I mean, I didn't come up with this, but someone said that it looks like something that you would get out of a cereal box. And I kind of have to agree with that statement. These gimmicks, while nicely made, the concept it's talking about is something that you could get out of a cereal box when you're a kid. It's not mind-blowing, and in my opinion, it's not worth the $30. They should have made this a lot cheaper. And in fact, the instructions that they gave are not up to the illusionist quality. I felt like the video itself was just kind of made by three people and as an afterthought. I mean, of course, they have to teach how this is done, but it just didn't feel like it was up to the illusionist quality that I expect, especially for $30. So, I'm going to give this a score. I've been debating between a 5 and a 6. I'm going to give it a 6, and I'm going to explain why it went up one point. First reason is, and I'll break it down by the 5 effects, is I do put up Instagram magic videos once in a while, and the main effect, the blue to red or red to blue, which is probably the main reason why you bought change, it looks really good on video, and I have a short clip. It's actually my most liked video on Instagram and people that I know outside of magic that will watch it sometimes they watch the video like we have no idea how you did that so I have a clip for you and you can watch it now alright thank you so that was a clip that a lot of people liked but could not do that live. I couldn't. Um, there's two effects in this that I will do live, but it has to be under certain settings and I would never do it on stage. None of these effects should be used on stage. You will look like a fool if you do. Um, there's one that I would do, well, both. I would do in very dim lighting. One you would want a little bit more lighting than the other just so that they could see it better. But the changing angels one, where the angels move up and down, 
Um, that one is probably the best effect out of all this. And at first I didn't like it because I can't use any of these effects in my performances. But I came up with a routine that I'm going to try on actual people. And I'll give you some test footage. It's not like an actual performance. I just came up with it just to try and redeem myself for having a $30 trick that I can't even use. So here's an idea concept that I came up with for the Changing Angels. Enjoy. To start this routine, I'll just spread through the cards and just show that they're all normal. So, that the backs are normal. And then what I'll do is I'll take a red sharpie and then I'll just fill in the bottom angel and turn it red like so. And I just want to try and make that as red as possible. Like that. And then what I'll do is I'll turn the card over like so. And then what I'll do is I'll have the spectator put their name on it. That way they, they know it's their own unique card. So they'll put their name on it. And then what I'll do is I'll pick up the card and just tell them to watch the angels. Because it likes to move a lot. It likes to shift around. It doesn't want to stay in one place. Like so. And then if I want to end it, I'll just throw it back on there and tell them now when I threw it down, now the face changes so I can get it to stop magically by snapping my fingers. What? You don't believe me? Well, look. Now, it's no longer hopping and this is for you to keep. And the rest of the deck is normal. As you see in there. And that's the routine I came up with. Alright, thank you for watching that. Um, so that one's probably my favorite effect out of this. The next one is the blurry king effect. This one's a little bit more difficult and you probably need some better lighting for this. Now I know the last video was probably pretty bad because the lighting is too intense you want right now for this video. You want very dim lighting when performing these effects. And I wouldn't do it more, um, excuse me, I wouldn't do it for more than one to two people max maybe three if you're really ballsy, but other than that, I want to perform for more than three. Um, so this next one is my routine for the Blurry King, and this one I would only do for one person. So here's my concept that I came up with. So the routine I came up with for the Blurry King is I took the King of Space card and put that on top. Like so. And then what I'll do is I'll tell the spectator. I want you to think of this card as a blurry card. That it's going to go make you have this drunken feel effect. And remember this is probably done later at night, maybe done after going to the bar or what have you, or just someone's acting loopy. So what I'll do, I'll just pick up the card and I'll hold it to them and tell them to watch. Watch as it blurs out of sight. Like so. And then they'll see, oh it's foggy. Oh man, it like changed or whatever. And then what I'll do is I'll create like this spinning motion and tell them, watch, I can fix your vision like that and stop it. And then they can examine it and it comes in to focus once more, throw it on top and then show the bottoms as normal again. Of course, spread through. That's the routine for the Blurry King. Alright, thank you for watching that. Um... The other ones, the headphones through the card, I would not do live. I would probably put it in an Instagram video, but I don't have white headphones. It has to be done with white headphones. Um, and my headphones are blue, so I can't perform that effect. And then the coin changing one is just absolutely stupid. It's pointless. There's like, I don't even see how you could get away with this even on Instagram. There's just so many discrepancies with that change that I think that they just put it in there to make five effects. It is not worth your time, not worth your money. The coin changing one, don't bother with it for any reason. <laughs> now I know I seem pretty harsh, I mean I gave it a 6 out of 10, I mean that's a decent enough score for what you're getting here. And I have nothing against Lloyd Barnes, I think he's a pretty talented creator. I have his effect Iris. and. If you have the choice between Iris and Change, buy Iris. It's cheaper and you can actually perform it. <laughs>
this you probably won't be performing for anyone outside of Instagram and YouTube because you need that special lighting and you need those special angles because this is extremely angle sensitive to the point where it's almost impossible to perform for real people because they're going to see through the gimmicks because people have seen stuff like this before. I'm not going to give away what the gimmicks are, but I'm pretty sure they have seen it before and played around with them when they were kids to give you a clue. And yeah, it's just not worth the $30. Now, if they made this like 5 to $10, I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10, but I, I kind of felt taken on this. So hopefully Illusionist won't release a product like this again because this was uh, very <laughs> deceiving by the hype that they gave it. So yeah, um, that's my review. Some things that I'm coming up with is uh, I would like to do a subscriber contest giveaway and what the giveaway prize is is the tutorial to my first release which is Doubting Thomas which is a utility device that allows you to put objects through your hand or do an invisible deck um, effect with a borrow deck um, you could do like string through hand there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with it, so I hope you'll check that out. Um, I have some other releases in the works and future reviews coming up, so yeah, subscribe and I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.